Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of graphing on a coordinate plane. This is standard 5.8c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 2 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a table here, and it's showing the relationship between the number of soft pretzels, and that's going to be our x coordinate here, and the number of uh, cost, the total cost that each customer spent on these pretzels. So one pretzel costs 350, and our cost here is going to be our y coordinate. So just look at this as an x, y input output table. And so we are really just needing to find the best graph that represents this. And notice that two are kind of horizontal and two are kind of vertical. So that's going to be very interesting here. So I think the trick on that is going to be let's just look at the labels because that would be the only reason why they would flip some of these. So take a look at X. So our X is going to be the number of soft pretzels. So our X coordinate is always going to be the horizontal axis. It goes side to side. So we've got number of soft pretzels, number of soft pretzels, number of soft pretzels. All right, so that x axis is always going to be the number of soft pretzels. And then our y axis is going to be the total cost in dollars. And that is true all the way across, which means they most likely ended up reversing some of the values because some of these numbers are way too big for the number of soft pretzels. Look at my number of soft pretzels. They only go up to four, yet some of these have them up to 14, which means they reversed some of these values. So let's take a look at our first ordered pair. And let's just see if we can knock some of these out, because some of these are going to be incorrect. Remember, in our ordered pair, the x value always comes first. So we're going to call this 3.5. This 350, I'm just going to call it 3.5. I'm going to drop that last zero. We always move to the right first because X comes before Y in the alphabet. So, I mean, look at F right here. F is already incorrect because they've got a uh, number of soft pretzels as four and then they've got total cost at one. So this first one is four comma one. So I'm not sure even where that's coming from. So that's incorrect. H is at least a little bit better, but look at they flipped the values once again. So the x value here, there's my 3.5, which that's the total cost. The problem is, is they graph that on the axis that shows the number of soft pretzels. So they flip the values. They did 3.5 comma 1. We want the 1 to come first as the x value and the 3.5 to come second as the y value. So they flipped those values. That's why those look side to side. So it looks like our graph that we should be looking at should be one of these two at the end that are purely vertical. So let's take a look. So we've got our G right here, which is one, but look at, they've got four. I'm not sure why they're, I'm not sure why they're thinking four would work because we want 3.5. Now there is no 0.5 line. So we're just going to have to know that it's between 3 and 4. So it's not going to be on 4. It's going to be a little bit below 4, between 3 and 4. So G is incorrect. So let's check, and there it is right there. That's the one we were looking for. So even though there's no line in between 3 and 4, we can go ahead and we can graph 1, 3.5. I just know that Y coordinate is in between 3 and 5. So we are good right there. So just that very first one eliminated three of these answers. So before we just say it's correct, let's just verify the last few. So I need two comma seven. So let's see, my X is two, my Y is seven. That looks good. Let's see, my I need three comma 2.5, so three. And there's my 10.5 right there, right between 10 and 11, correct? And then finally my four comma 14. So there's my four, 14 is way up there. So that is correct. So there you go, my answer is J.